Hi there everybody, this is Pastor Charlie on Friday the 2nd of October and I'm here with your final Keeping Connected video for this week. Our theme this week has been around the gifts that we've noticed in this season of coronavirus. About the things that we have seen God doing in our lives and in the life of our church together. Whenever I think about those things, and I know some of these things will already have been said this week, but when I think of those gifts that I have seen, I, I think first and foremost about the number of our people who are spending more time in Scripture than they have ever spent in their own lives. Like they've said that to me, that during these six months they have read more of the Bible and more in depth than they ever did before. And it's not only the fact that people are spending time in the Scripture and that they're reading the Scripture. Of course, I know many of us read the Scripture every day. But it's the fact that our people are coming together in classes, spending time in conversation around what they're reading in the Scripture. They're studying the Bible together, which I believe is what the Bible was given to us first and foremost for anyway. So that we could gather around it together, listen for God's voice, sense God's call and follow in God's ways. Another thing that I'm really thankful for in this season is the fact that so many people have come to us and said, hey, we're, we're not three churches anymore in one, under one name. Like we're not just three services on a Sunday morning. It feels like we're one church. People say on Sunday morning during our service, one of the favorite things about it now is that they get to interact with one another on that live community feed. So I think what I would say overall in terms of the gift that God has given us during this season is that God's given us a little bit of a gift of holy community, one with the other. Holy community in which we gather around the word together in a way that we maybe hadn't done for a long time. Holy community in that we see one another and at different points and in different ways and we interact with one another in different ways. When was the last time you heard a prayer request in a church service and you were able to respond to it immediately, personally, directly with the person who had made it? Watch our feed on Sunday morning. That's happening every single week. Listen, I, I know that this thing is dragging on and on. I know also that it's not done with us yet and we don't know just when it's going to be over completely. And so therefore it is important for us to look around and ask this question. Where am I seeing God in the midst of this pandemic season? Where am I seeing God in the missions and ministries of our church at this time? Because God never leaves us. I mean, that's a testimony of scripture, right? God is willing to join right into the middle of human chaos to become one of us. That's what the incarnation is. That's who Jesus is. God never leaves us nor forsakes us. We can each of us take that promise to the bank. And so that means that God is with us in this time, right here, right now. As you listen to this video, as you watch me talking, God is with you. As I talk to you, God is with me. And so it's on us, brothers and sisters in Christ, to open up our eyes, to allow the Holy Spirit to do his work with us, and to notice God all around us. And when we do notice God, it's on us to join in on the work that God is doing. So I encourage you, church, I encourage you to continue in fellowship with one another. I went to Publix today and I saw three of our church members and we stood in front of one of the uh, one of the aisles and really got in the way, but we were having fellowship together. It was good. Friends, I encourage you to stay connected through this season. And as we slowly take some steps back to worshiping in person, indoors, together again, we will be stronger for it because of the ways that we have learned to be community in this season. So in as much as we struggle, and as much as we are concerned about the future, we also have so much to give thanks for here and now. So I'll leave you with a question today, a question to live with, to ponder on and to reflect. Where have you been seeing God in this season? Where have you been seeing God today? And how will you join in with what God is doing in our midst in these days ahead? Listen, I cannot wait to see you all at worship on Sunday morning. It's World Communion Sunday. Pastor Drew is going to preach a message which will just encourage us and call us closer to God again. And that is what we do when we come to worship. So please, let's see you there at 8 o'clock or at 9.15 for Backyard Worship or at our 11 o'clock Facebook Live service. I cannot wait to see you then. God bless you and have a great weekend.